Welcome everybody back to the Michigan Trails Report. I am your host, Tom Funk. In case you're new or just forgot, I am the author of 50 Hikes in Michigan's Upper Peninsula and 50 Hikes on the North Country Trail. I also like to chime in once in a while on your various Facebook hiking book pages and, you know, talk about trails. As always, I'd like to thank my friend Adam Main for supplying the music for the podcast. Thank you, Adam. He is a musician in Camden, Michigan. And let's talk trails. Our sponsor, Nortiv 8, maker of affordable hiking footwear. No flash, no bling, no fancy names. Footwear at a fair price. Nortiv8.com. That's N-O-R-T-I-V as in Victor, the number 8.com. This week's podcast is our monthly trail report. And in this episode, we will celebrate two intrepid souls in trail trash and a few other souls as well. So, with that all being said, let's talk trails. Alright, first of all, you may notice I sound a little muffled. I have been fighting allergies for like two months I had COVID during this, um, and the COVID, actually the allergies are were way, are way worse than COVID. I'm like, I tested positive for COVID? Really? Seriously? All right. So, you know, had to stay home. Uh, so yeah, if I sound muffled, if I stumble across my words, it's because I'm all snotted up and I don't want to blow my nose during the podcast. So I'm probably going to keep this kind of short today, but you know, we'll see. So our Trail of the Week comes from a land conservancy, and this is a brand new uh, preserve in Allegan County. And it is the Armand Trout Millbacher Nature Preserve, and uh, it is a 140-acre preserve owned by the Southwest Michigan Land Conservancy. A whole bunch of people donating money, donating time, talking to the right people. Uh, finally got this property uh, into uh, uh, ownership so we can all save it in perpetuity and visit it as well. And it does have walking trails. It's uh, pine and hardwood forest, and it has high overlooks uh, along the Kalamazoo River, and it is, of course, in a natural setting. So head on over to swmlc.org and check out the information. They don't have a Venza maps up yet. They do have a printable map. Uh, and like with most land conservancies, the properties aren't all that big, so it's pretty hard to get lost. So, um, you know, go on over there and check it out. All right, trail conditions and alerts. Hey, it's hunting season. And the most obvious thing is to wear hunter's orange if you're going out on a hike in uh, on a property other than yours. If you are a little bit on the nervous side when it comes to hiking during hunting season, just check with the land manager that owns or manages the property and just ask them, hey, is hunting allowed? Um, and if it is and you're not crazy about hiking when there's hunting, don't go. Or if it is closed to hiking, because some places do close, especially your private land conservancies, because they use hunting as a management tool to keep deer in check. So this is a time of year, especially November, uh, to you know make sure you wear the orange, make sure you do a little bit of research before you go out uh, hiking. For example, the Thorn Apple Trail south of Middleville, which runs concurrently with the North Country Trail, is closed for the entire month of November. So you'll be going along, do 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 do, especially through hikers. Hey, you need to have an alternative plan if you're through hiking in November. Um, however, I don't see anybody doing that right now because the snow has started to fly. Um, so again, the vast majority of firearm hunting is during the firearm deer season, which is 15 through 30 of November. Um, I tell folks, you know what, give the hunters the woods for those 15 days, uh, we got the rest of the year, but that's the, that's the time when there's the most activity with hunting, um, in the woods, so, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, a really cool development, a brand new trail has been opened up in the Upper Peninsula on the North Country Trail, and it is in the Peter Wolf chapter, and they eliminated 14 miles of roadwalk on uh, fast-moving US-41 east from Canyon Falls. So now they have a nice, quiet hike between Canyon Falls 
and the remote junction on private land with the Marquette area chapter at Long Lake, which is just west of Craig Lake State Park. Uh, so they really want to thank folks for their financial help and donating time. Um, you know, there's going to be some more maintenance that takes place on there. So it's between mile 184.2 and mile 204.6, including a, a North Country Trail shelter just north of mile 199.6. How about that? That is really cool. So, um, hey, when I hiked across the UP in 98, it was a 90-mile road walk. That's how much of a gap there was. So now... I think there's only one paved road, and it's like six miles in the entire UP. So uh, that, uh, uh, well, I should back off a little bit. I know there's a little chunk here, a little chunk there, but big chunks, um, guys, 90 miles. That's what I did. So this is really cool. And when I retire in a few years, I am totally looking forward to rehiking the Upper Peninsula and uh, not hiking on all those awful roads. Snow report. Yeah, you knew it was coming. Traces of snow occurred in mid-October on Isle Royal. I shared that on the Facebook page. And just before Halloween, the UP, two to four inches in the Keweenaw and Whitefish Point areas. And it's still on the ground up there. And, of course, whomever lives on Lake Michigan, shore between Holland and, like, South Haven and that area, can tell you about trick-or-treating and nearly a foot of snow. So guess what, folks? Winter is here. Uh, and it's going to be snow, plan on it through at least mid-May in the Upper Peninsula, uh, and at least through maybe mid-April in the Lower. So winter is here, and I'll be posting the snow depth map uh, weekly on the Facebook page, so check that out. I believe there's one be coming, uh, coming out here very shortly, or it's already been posted, because I plan my postings in advance. I'm not sure exactly when that one gets uh, released. Um, let's see, hiker trash, wow, we had, uh, uh, some really cool stuff happen, uh, there was a gentleman, I think his name was River Otter, he finished the entire North Country Trail, or Sea Otter, I think he's Sea Otter, should be River Otter, it's, you know, the Midwest, but okay, whatever, Sea Otter finished the entire North Country Trail, he ended in Michigan, down at Ben Walken's area in the southern lower, uh, part of Michigan, so congratulations to him, um, Amy Elvey completed all of Michigan North Country Trail. Heather Brower completed all of the Lower Peninsula. And then I had mentioned a month ago on the last uh, Trails Report podcast, uh, we had Mike Trailhawk Dunn. He hiked the uh, Mackinac Bridge to US 10. He completed that uh, recently. And Bo Swanson made it across the UP just in time for the snow to fly. And, and uh, that was uh, when he was communicating with me before his hike. I'm like, dude, you want to finish before the snow flies. And, and well, he did. So, everybody, let's give them a nice hand. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, keep up the good work. I've been posting the North Country Trail 100 uh, mile uh, accomplishments as I see them. Uh, check them out on the Facebook page. All right, uh, we're to the trail calendar. Not much goes on in November for trail activities just because it's hot and heavy for hunting season. There are a few events. Uh, we have one that's being put on by the Michigan Hiking and Backpacking uh, Facebook page. Uh, led by Bunny at uh, Highland uh, Recreation Area. It's going to be a group hike, and it's on Sunday, November the 19th. And remember, go to these pages, check out the gory details. I am just hitting the highlights. There's a Northern Michigan Hiking and Backpacking outing. Uh, it's going to be a backpacking trip, November 11th through the 13th, Jordan River. And that, uh, again, go to the Northern Michigan Hiking and Backpacking page to check that out. Um, Hiawatha Shore to Shore is going to have a hike uh, at the Trout Lake segment on November 11th. That is going to start at 10 a.m. Uh, Jordan Valley East End Loop Hike, that's going to be November 11th as well, 9.30 a.m. Uh, Spear of the Woods is going to have a, a North Coast Trail Hiking Challenge, basically hike uh, chunks of their segment of trail. That's going to be on November 28th, and it's a fundraiser. Uh, White Pine Trails, Russell Road Trailhead, south of Cedar Springs will be the start of a North Country Trail hike with the West Michigan chapter, November 11th at 10 a.m. I did not see a random hike that uh, I felt comfortable sharing, 
this month this month so uh, we'll take a take a pause on that there is a leave no trace training held by the Marquette chapter in North Country Trail on November the 15th so you know opening day we talk about uh, you know deer hunting widows well you know there's those of us uh, that like to hike a lot and uh, November 15th is not the best day so hey go to leave no trace training up in Marquette check that out on their Facebook page and it's uh, events. I think I shared these last month. I'm gonna keep sharing them, so you guys eventually go to these things. Quiet Adventure Symposium, Michigan State University Pavilion, March the second. Outdoor Rama, February twenty second through the twenty fifth at the Novi Expo Center, officially called the Suburban Collection Showplace. And Canoe Canopia is going to be March eighth through the tenth at Alliance Center in Madison, Wisconsin. If you've never been. Yeah, it's heavy on canoe stuff, but there is a decent amount of North Country Trail. There's a pretty good presence in North Country Trail. And, hey, Madison's a cool town, um, unless you want to buy beer after 9 p.m., and uh, you can uh, ask me offline what that is all about. All right, Reservation Report brought to you by MichiganTrailMaps.com. High-quality maps of many of your favorite hiking trails like Pictured Rocks, Downloadable maps and books on hiking in Michigan like mine. Hey, Pictured Rocks, you want to go backpacking? Hey, you can still make a reservation for this year. Go for it. Uh, but the reservation system will open up uh, 10 a.m. January the 1st. I'm going to double check that. I'm going to keep double checking that because they will change it because it's a holiday. I, you know, they're not, they're not at home. It's an automated system. I don't get it, but I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. Um, haven't seen that uh, Grand Island page pop up yet on recreation.gov. You can still go in there and check out individual sites and see when they open up. Um, and State Park Campgrounds in Michigan, the DNR has changed the reservation system. You used to be able to go a year out, but most people don't make their reservations until six months out or less. So they are slowly backing off, and it's going to be six months in advance. Uh, so and keep in mind, uh, each region of the state has a campground that is open year round. Um, so, uh, you know, there is still state park camping, albeit in only a few locations. Um, Isle Royal done for the season reservations open January 3rd for the Ranger. Um, didn't see when the queen is going to start accepting reservations or the seaplane. So, uh, we'll just have to keep our eye on that. All right, so, like I said, kind of stuffy today. I'm going to probably clear my throat here in a second. But anyways, um, thanks for joining me. This was a short one. And uh, check out the Facebook page, Michigan Trails Report. And if you're not already a member, join. And that's where I put a ton of information. So pretty much everything I talk about here you, you see on the Facebook page. Hey, I created a one-stop shop webpage for all the various social media, podcasts, all that good stuff going on. No more looking for a pen that works. No more writing in in the fog on your bathroom mirror. Just remember this, TomFunk.net. Yep, that's it, one page. That's all you have to remember. And please click on the follow button on the podcast that you're currently listening to, be it Spotify or Google or Samsung or whatever. If you don't... I am going to give you the wrong dates for Canoe Copia, if you ever ask me. So keep in mind, if you subscribe, you get the podcast the moment it's released, versus me posting on social media when I get around to it. And again, thanks to our sponsor, Norteve8. Quote to end the show, the clearest way into the universe is through a forest wilderness. That is from our friend, John Muir. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for joining us. We will see you next week with another episode of the Michigan Trails Reports.